Hi everybody, Demon Justin J here with Demon Quits. On the quit front, it, I haven't had any cravings due to the new patch and the lozenges. I also haven't craved a cigarette. Reason why? One, today was my youngest daughter's birthday. She just turned 13. A couple days before that was my middle child's birthday. She turned 20. So in the process, I had we had both birthdays today. So I was at the in-laws' house, and they don't smoke. They've never smoked. So in the process, they understand. They have no clue why I'm going through when it comes to withdrawals and trying to quit smoking. They always stick their nose up to it to a point. But since they're both in the medical field, they understand why people do it. So they do to give their support. And they also are glad I started trying to quit because of the patch and taking the lozenges and chewing gum and all that because of it. So on that, that was that. Have you want a cigarette? Have you need a cigarette? Stress levels, yes. Pain because of all the sunburn and being that pain. I might have wanted a cigarette, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have one. <laughs> and I'm glad the internet finally got back up in order today, so I was able to upload three videos, as you can most likely see. Do some idiot try and dig a trench while calling up about wires or pipes. So please, if you ever go, if you own a home. And you have to dig like for plumbing or anything like that. Why don't you call your area up to see if they buried phone lines or there's any kind of dangerous pipes around before you dig? Because sometimes it's, you don't know. Because there's been a couple of electrocutions in this area due to no one calling, and they buried the wires under the ground in certain parts on this mountain to give power to a house and they, st they did that in the early 90s and 80s here so if your house here in the Poconos was built in those times and you don't see wires come from telephone pole to your home but you're getting power it means they buried them underground and they don't tell you where they put buried them you have to call up the power company and say listen can you have a surveyor come and t mark where I buried so just in case you ever have to dig so I recommend telling anybody Please call up the surveyor of your property the, or power company and say, listen, please check my for my lines if they're on the ground. Because here we have the fiber optic lines for internet and DSL and all that. Most of them are on the line, on, on the ground, and then some are up above. So when the guy cut the line, he snapped the line for one part of the, us. That's why we were getting internet, like, it was so jumpy. We were getting a signal, but not the full signal that we're supposed to get. Sorry about that little ramble. It's just, it just happens with me. Thank you guys for watching these videos and commenting. And thank you very much for for giving the comments, saying all the nice things you do. And those kind of words do help. I'm ending the video now. To people came here because Dean Jester J's five quest to a mall maker. Thank you for watching. And remember, like I always say, keep the blade sharp and let your hobby be fun. To the dungeon masters, train makers, and all that. Keep your hot boots guns hot and keep your cardboard flowing. Have a blast with it. To Mod Podge YouTubers out there that I keep I'm just uploading videos like crazy until they find their niche. Have fun with it and keep on doing it until you you find find out what you like to do. To people on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, thank you for your kind words. Thank you for sharing my videos, and thank you for uh, putting me out there. Have a nice day or night, wherever time you watch this. Bye, everybody.